Hello everybody, Captain Gavtron here, and welcome back to Let's Play Banjo-Tooie. And yes, I know in the last episode I said we were going to start backtracking, however, I know there's a lot more we can get done here. I went and watched some videos because I wasn't sure what all could get done, so it was actually watching Nintendo Capri Sun. But uh, anywho, first thing we're going to do over here is go get this fly pad. And we need to go get to the ice side. So, uh... I know there's multiple ways around, but there's a particular entrance I'm looking for. It's not the one up there at the left I saw. I don't know what that is down there. It's not that one. Aha, there it is. That's where we're going. Ooh, dead gummit. Excuse me. So yeah, how did everyone enjoy the uh, Cards Against Humanity video? I thought it'd be a nice break from this LP, because this was kind of a long one right here, you know? You know what? We can get this. Uh-oh, there's someone coming. We're going to wait for him. Fear me! Fear me! Look at him run. Well, dad gum. Well, that'll work. Okay. Now, I know we can get this bird. That's Jinjo. Let's try it again. I think you have to do it. See, I told you you do it. I told you it could be done. Nobody believed me. Alright. We need to get to, uh... Boggy's place, because it's here. I'm still not completely... That gum, I'm familiar with this world. But, I do know it went the wrong way, because that's where I came in. Dad gum, it. So, yeah, I still got some learning to do, figuring out, you know. I mean, I'll, I'll know my way around here eventually. Also, is this the right way? Yeah. I remember when playing this as a kid, it took me forever to find... Well, come on, get on up there. It took me forever to find this little crevice right here to get to the other side. Wow, the lag. Yeah, but it took me forever to find this. Anywho... So, now that we're here on the other side, we, see that's Buggy's place right there. We need to go over there, go inside. There's not, there's only one thing we can really do in there. Oh look, a jiggy. That's inside the train station, which we still need to open the train station doors. I don't know exactly when we're gonna do that. I'm gonna take a drink real quick. Well, hold on. Hey. hey. Hey, young man, I'm Mildred Ice Cube, but I seem to have misplaced my husband, George. Where there was a terrible blizzard, and he was whisked off into the sky, so... Isn't it obvious? I want you to go and look for him. Okay. We're gonna do the most horrible thing ever here, guys. <laughs> Arr! Tell George's dinner isn't, uh... Isn't that the most horrible thing you've ever seen in a kid's game? <laughs> And this is Boggy's new place, and I tell you what, it's quite the upgrade from the dump in Freeze Easy Peak. Hey, Boggy. Hello, Boggy. Take a look at my new widescreen TV. It's got loads of features. I'm sure it has. It has, actually. 100 HS scanning, Dolby 5 once around sound, 9,000 channels, 3 remotes. Yawn. Oh, sorry, but it got on a lot. It, oh, it's got no online shopping, and I'm really hungry. Man, I can't read. So what do you want? A big hot fish would be great. Hey, we have a big hot fish. Here you go. Did you just fart? He did fart. Yucko. Smells like rotten. What was that? Wow, the fish must have swallowed a jiggy. Well, if it's not edible, I don't want it. Fair enough, Boggy. I'll add it to our collection. Be my guest. I got stuff to watch. Oh, yeah? Who are you watching here? It looks like Captain Underpants or something. Who remembers that? Is, is that Mario in his underwear? I don't know what the heck that is. Hi, Mrs. Boggy. Thanks for all your help, Banjo. Was that all you're going to say? You want to give me a jiggy, too? I did find your rotten kids. I deserve two extra jiggies for that one. That was a lot of work for that one jiggy. Downstairs here. The kids' room. They're all here. 
I wonder where Boggy and Boggy sleep. Oh, there's... Okay, there's two bunk beds there, so yeah. Uh, nothing really special there. But anywho, yeah, so let's head on back out here. We're gonna go to the right of us, I think. Wait, left, right, yeah, all right. You get over here, and there's a pad. That looks like a mumbo pad. It is a mumbo pad. But down here, we have this uh, Lost Explorer. This character is actually in a couple of video games, I think. I know he was in one video game already. Yeah, I guess you have to get Mumbo to unfreeze him there. Oh well. I know you have that Mumbo for something. Now, ah, see, there's where we got the uh, Mega Gobo in the safe. So, yeah. Dad, gum in my ear is itching, y'all. Takes a wrong time to itch my ear. Oh. I'm gonna scratch it. Okay, no, I'm not. That was a fail. I'm gonna have to get a Q tip later. Okay, so, yeah. So, uh. Where are we going again? Let's take a look around here. I want to see if there's anything else I'm missing. You gotta get up there, but you have to get up there with. Oh wait, no, that's the entrance. Okay, never mind. Okay, well let's just go get Mumbo here. Uh, well, no, you know what? We can just go through Mumbo's place through one of us. We don't have to work. I mean, we could work, but uh, no need to do that one. We can just walk right over here. So yeah, um, I'm trying something I haven't tried before, guys. It's actually, I am recording this in the morning. It's Saturday morning. Well, it's not Saturday morning, but I just woke up two hours ago. And normally, my commentary is not all that great in the morning. So we'll see how it turns out. But I imagine that it's not going to be quite as impressive. We'll see, though, because I've been up for a couple hours. Welcome again, Ban Bird. I will give you help if you give me that which I seek. A magical creature from beyond the land that I can't get myself. Okay, here you go. Throw it in Mumbo's bag so I may perform my magics. And then you will see how awesome I can be. From the land of Taco Bell to the ranch of the McDonald Cheese. Where's the entrance to Wumba's? Come on, there it is. Okay. So yeah, just, that was a lot of freaking nonsense there. So there's several things we can do. <laughs> Get out the pool! <laughs> there's several things we can do here with Mumbo Dumbo here. Uh, first we need to uh, save the alien family and free the explorer. And, uh, where is it? Yeah, here we go. To get to this guy, you just walk up here. And it's the alien that fell out of the ship. He's dead. So Mambo has to revive him. And hopefully we don't have a fail montage here of me falling off this thing. Because I was practicing around earlier after watching Nintendo Capri Sun trying to figure out my way around better. And I kind of did. And so, you know, it, it always helps. When you need help, you go find help, you know? Because I really wasn't getting anywhere fast, and I've got to pick up the speed and pace on these videos. Big drop hurts lots. You're dead. Mumbo used powerful shaman magic. Didn't need puny or thing magic. Could have used special powers instead. Space man ungrateful. Waste Mumbo's time. Me should teach a lesson. Sorry, strange friend. My special powers are low, and we need your help. Our three children escaped the ship before we crashed in the lagoon. If you can find and return them to me safely, I'll bestow the Earth with wondrous gifts. Mumble like gifts. Not trick or not tacky alien. Kids will be hiding from danger until they detect alien signal. Mumbo impressed, but Mumbo magic better. <laughs> oh look, they're all in these little shells. Now if you try to open these shells earlier, you can't do it. What? He just popped up there. What the heck? Yeah, well the two with the uh, little ice thingies, you... Well, Dad Gum, you uh, get them with the uh, build drill. And if you try to do it beforehand, they won't break, so yeah. 
Now we're gonna go over here to the, uh, I can't remember this guy's name. No, no, you gotta go back to Bogey's place. Man, I'm tired. Fear me! Be gone from me! Yeah, so, tell you what I need to start doing. I need to put a straw in my drink, close enough where I can reach over and drink it, rather than having to stop playing and pick it up. But there's a mumbo pad here, so... Once we start chanting, I will take my drink. Hope this works. Uh, Thank you, young sir. Well, I've been frozen in there since 1994. Mumbo think you see crazy, seen crazy old man before. It's quite possible. I come from a golden age where wolves were kings. The name's Saberman. Adventuring is my game, or at least it was my game. What Saberman doing? <laughs> the cursed Saber Wolf chased me all the way here. While I was frozen in my tracks to the ice dragon. I'm rather cold. Could you see your way warming me up? Uh, Mumbo not do that, but don't bear that might. <laughs> yeah, so his game is Saberman. That's what it was. And I don't think that game actually released. I could be wrong about that, but I don't think that that game was actually released. I think it was, uh... Going to be a game that eventually turned into Donkey Kong 64, I think, or something like that. Don't remember, not real sure, but, uh, whatever. It may have released, but this game's full of games that haven't released. It's probably a railroad game that never got released. That's probably exactly what it is. Anywho, now we're going to change back into the bear and birds and, uh, heat up Saberman. Warm him up so he can go back home. But he won't go back home. We actually have to carry him. So we're going to have to split it up. But uh, first you can warm him up by... Uh... There's two ways of doing it. You can either... Oh, dadgummit. I went the wrong way. Dadgummit. Oh well. No big deal. You just get out to go and use to the main door. That totally came out wrong the way I said that. Get used to coming out the certain door every time, you know? Oh, 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 all righty then. I guess we could save this little earthling alien baby first. Yeah, you build your last sucker. What's wrong with it? Beats me. Could you try to beak mouth recitation? <laughs> er, no chance. Then this is a job for a professionally qualified doctor? Are they talking about Mumbo? Ugh. Well, it was worth a shot. Oh, God. Why <sighs> should I be recording in the morning? So this is a way to save the other kid that's in the ice. And, uh... I hope this guy doesn't get me. He usually does. Oh, that's dad gummit. I had it and then I lost it. Oh, I hear Globo too. Well, we find the other Globo then. We can get Wamba's help. Oh, crap. We still have a lot to do there. I think I know what we're going to do in the next video. Because I don't think we'll have time in this one. Thanks, Earthling. Okay, we'll just run away then. Ooh, let's see if we can do this again. I don't know that we can. Quack, quack! Quack, quack! Quack, quack, quack! Yeah! We got him. So, how's everyone doing today? Like I said, I hope y'all enjoyed the Cards Against Humanity video since this is a long series. I recorded it. I didn't want to wait till the end of the series to post it, so... <laughs> oh, what the heck, you know? And, uh... I gotta remember where we're going here. We're going to fight Saberman. 
no, we're not going to fight him, we're going to heal him in ways that... <sighs> Man, guys, I'm so sorry. Why am I so tired right now? I need to take a drink. Okay, now what we're going to do is come down here and... Like I said, there's two ways of doing it. You can either have Kazooie hatch him, or just shoot him with fire eggs. Or hatch, sit on him. One more time. There you go. Yeah, he's a normal color now. Thanks so much better. Or that's so much better. Glad to help, old hero. Oh, I'm frozen. I've uh, been frozen for so long. I need a cup of tea. Forty wings. Could you possibly just help me out one more time? Man. Of course, sounds like a job for you, Banjo. Can you carry me back to my tent? It's over the fiery side of the mountain. Well, that wasn't that old explorer man voice. That was like a redneck voice. Dad gummit. I need more energy here, guys. This is crazy. Uh, I really just want to take a break right now. Maybe I should stop the recording. I don't know. What do y'all think? You think I should? No. I think I'm going to take Saberman to his hut, and then maybe we'll call it quits after that. I don't really know yet. But I am going to call it quits for too long, because I'm getting tired. I, sh I, sh I just shouldn't have started recording this this early. Probably wasn't the best idea. Alright, now let's rock and roll, pick up the old man, cause, uh, yeah. <laughs> I just think it's funny how the backpack looks when you're carrying someone in it. No, no, go away, stop it, stop it, I am carrying an elderly man here, who am I just hit you with? What the disrespect around here, you stupid kids? Bold, man. Think they can beat up an elderly bear carrying an elderly man? That's crazy. Alright, we're just gonna warp over there because uh, it's faster, you know? There's no reason to walk all the way over there if you can warp. Okay, I don't know if I showed this off before, but this is the old man's tent. There we go. Tent. My equipment is just as I left it all those years ago. It's probably worthless. My treasure is still here, too. You may have it, kind sir. I find golden jigsaw piece. No use to me. Man, I can't read this stuff fast enough, man. Dad, gum it. And he's gonna go lay down. I don't know why the jiggy popped up on the other side of the tent, but what can I say? ZZZ. I wonder what adventures may await me. Yeah, not a clue, old man. Not a clue. What? I can't believe it. He's actually already sleeping. Wow. I didn't think he was going to go to sleep that fast. I mean, I don't know what else he was going to do. Just stand there. So, uh, yeah. We need to go back and get Kazooie, and I suppose... We can get something else done here before we, uh... No, but why did I warp here? Well, I'll just have Kazooie meet me over here. No big deal. I suppose we have time to get one more thing done here before I uh, call it quits. So we'll just go ahead and meet up here with Banjo. And uh, we need to go get the fly pad because I know we can get something over there. I just need to go ahead and jump on down here. I don't know why. Why didn't I just warp? That gummit. Can't believe it. Can't believe it. Okay. Well, uh, we're almost there now. Oh, what the heck? Really? Dad gum. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Ah! Can't believe it, guys. All hell's breaking loose over here. This little maggot won't leave me alone. Go away. Come on. Stupid maggot. I almost said a bad word, guys. Alright, let's go over here and we're gonna get this uh flight pad and we're gonna we're not gonna get a flight pad, we're gonna take off on the flight pad. 
because I know there's a couple more things we can do over here on the lava side. Uh, I know the train switch is over here somewhere. We might go and find that because I know it's over there. Doesn't hurt to pick up a few more feathers here. All right. Where is it? It's one of these over here. I just don't remember which one it is. Just scooch out a little bit. Uh, it's not that one. Let's see. I know the blasted that. Aha, here it is. I know it was over here somewhere. Now, there are two train stations in this level. There's one on both sides. This is the lava train station. We still have to hit the switch for the uh, ice train station. And we'll probably do that in the next video. Because that's, that's going to take a lot of work to get started on all of that. Um, let's get over here. Really? Eggs? That's all there is there? That's all there is? Does that go anywhere? No. Okay. And, uh, what's in here? I said I still know my way, and I think I do, but I don't think I do. What the heck? What? Uh, okay, guys, you, you know what? We're, we're gonna call it quits here today, because I'm not gonna do anything else right now. I don't want to. But in the next episode, there's more things we can accomplish here in this level. Whether I accomplish them or go do something else is beyond me. But we do at least at least need to find the rest of the moves here before we move on. So we'll do that in the next episode. Thank you so very much for watching, guys. And I will see y'all in the next video. Thanks for watching. Have a good night and stuff. And uh, yeah. Alright. Bye-bye, guys.